And the, the look in the end, that's what I'm going for. That's the look. This is a forest garden. This is, edi- everything in it is either edible or medicinal or useful or a soil builder. Wow. And a lot of it is also beneficial. It brings beneficial insects. So you get the, the butterflies wow. and the dragonflies. And- so cool. I am Reed McLean. You probably would know me by my children, Silas and Ardeth, who tend to be fairly disruptive if you go to the 11 o'clock service. We are working very hard to <laughs> to calm them down and quiet them down. Um, uh, you, all, you would also know me by my wife, Damaris, who uh, spent a couple years as the, is it called the president of the council? Yes, yeah. yes, president. Um, and is, has, is a lifelong Lutheran. Her father is a pastor, and uh, she brought me to the Lutheran church. I was a, a Presbyterian growing up. So mm. we've been at Advent for, uh, I think, 10, 12 years, something. Um, and we love the community and love the church and are happy to be congregants. So I came here to talk to Reed because he's working on a really cool project, a very ambitious and long-term project. So could you really quick just kind of describe what describe it is? The project? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my midlife crisis project. <laughs> this is my red Corvette. It, it's, we have a, uh, just recently bought a piece of property up uh, near the Delaware River, um, about two hours north of here. Happens to be the property right next to my uh, DeMars' parents, my in-laws. Right now it is a house with a backyard and a front yard, grass, not very much diversity. Picture suburbia, except it's not. It's in the middle of the woods. So the project is called a forest garden. The idea is in a forest garden, you're trying to create a garden that mimics the way a forest grows. It's a 40-year project. Uh, 40 years. 40 year. In other words, that's what I'm going to benefit from. And then when I'm gone, it's a no many, hopefully, 100-year project. So this is the first planting. And you can see all of these here are the trees that eventually will grow into these trees uh, okay. that will, further down the road, become these ones. And How this is when I'm 80. How many different layers or types of things are going to be at play? It's the canopy, which are the, t- the tall trees. Okay. Then there is the, the understory, which are uh, dwarf fruit trees, like your apple, pear, okay. mulberry. Got it, got it. Then below that, is your herbaceous layer, which are going to be, those are going to be the raspberry bushes, the uh, strawberries, no, not strawberry, raspberry, blueberry. I haven't had lunch yet. I know. <laughs> this and, is sounding too good. And then you have um, the rhizome layer, which is your ground cover. And in that you'll have, those are strawberries, you'll have um, okay. juice some like, artichokes. Uh, then you have the uh, carrots and legumes and things that grow under the soil. Okay. Uh, and finally, you have the creeper, the, the vines that creep up and uh, go up into the top of the canopy. But cool. the idea is, uh, one thing is, I, I work here in the city, so I'm not able to be there full time. And so, the, once it is established, you have planted perennial plants that will continue to grow every year. So you're not planting every season. You're not putting seedlings in the greenhouse and then actually putting them in the soil. Once it's established, the garden will run itself. And the main task of the gardener is to watch it, cut it back when necessary, when something's taking over too much space, and then harvest it. And the kids are super involved. Um, they, I mean, the, so yeah, I, they, I think that's so cool that, so I got, I got to wonder, like, is, have you thought about how this could be and probably will be such like a teaching experience for them to like understand where food comes from and just about like yeah. caring for the earth. I'm really excited for this to be something that my my kids are learning from a very young age. By the time they're teenagers, they're gonna they're gonna know every species in there. They're gonna yeah. know which you know which ones why they're growing well. They're gonna know why they like a Bartlett pear better than a persimmon and what the difference between the two are. I, I just think uh, for them it's going to be really something pretty yeah. cool. If there were a theological aspect, it would be that for me, um, 
part of what is most satisfying about going up to the country is the um, is just being in nature, getting out of this city and getting into the woods. And yeah, that is where I've often felt like that feels like my church. That feels like, and then the, then there's the stewardship of the land, and that's you know that is a uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna amend this this planet, this seems like a very um, sensible first step, like taking the land that we live on and making it super efficient uh, and, Absolutely. And, and productive. And not only that, but it's, it's productive for not just us, but for the habitat around it. Sounds good. Looks good.